When Kip Rusk and Janet Lawson left yesterday about 9.30 in the morning to scale the glaciers to the summit of Mount Hood, they told only a few friends about the expedition. They also told the friends they would return by dinner time, but when midnight arrived, the hikers were still on the mountain, so the Clackamas County Sheriff's Department was notified. By this morning, 16 men and women were combing Hood's crags and gorges, expecting the missing pair might be injured and may have not survived the night. Two helicopters from the 304th Air Force Rescue Squadron joined the effort by late morning. The pilots risked flying through the occasional cloud banks that surrounded the peak, attempting to pinpoint the victims. The air search paid off. But the rescuers noted the supposed missing climbers weren't headed down the mountain, but still attempted to make the summit. Eventually, searchers on foot met the twosome and escorted them to the lodge. The last couple of miles, timberline chairlifts provided relief for the weary mountaineers. The once lost hikers say they weren't really missing, but had only altered their plans. Well, we just went climbing, and uh, the route that we started to go on was like really prone to a lot of ice fall. So we chose another route, and it was a longer and more difficult route, so we just bivouacked. I mean, you know, when, when we finally decided we had to bivouac, it was no big deal. But for 16 searchers, two sheriff's departments, three mountain rescue organizations, and the Air Force, it was a big deal. Big enough to launch today's search. But before that search started, authorities had checked the hiker registration booth to see if Rusk and Miss Lawson had left any information on their route, equipment, or alternate plans. But the names of Janet Lawson and Kip Rush aren't on any of the papers here, and Forest Service officials say that if the pair had registered for their hike yesterday, that today's expensive and somewhat hazardous search could have been avoided. If uh, the people at the lodge knew they were prepared to stay the night and were ready for another ascent uh, the following morning, then uh, none of this would have occurred and uh, uh, would have saved a lot of tax dollars as well as a lot of uh, uh, volunteers time at their own jobs. They were potentially in some dangerous situations because of the climbing conditions on the mountain and uh, you know they just they did a real good job for us. Officials say the search was worth it in any case since at the time they didn't know if the pair was in trouble. But some officials say the safety of hikers and searchers could have been better safeguarded if climbers would use the registration booths. On Mount Hood, Randy Ripplinger reporting for Channel 2 News.